Well, good morning and happy Saturday. Happy Shabbat. I'm here drinking my holy Red Bull. As you see, it's holy because I can't read what's inside, so it has to be good for me. Sitting by the holy mountain of Tabor, I think that's what the mountain is. Um, we are about to head out and we have a big water day today. So I'm excited. I'm supposed to go to the River of Jordan, to the Dead Sea. So it should be great. So I'll try to record as much as I can. Show you guys what's going on. Also wearing my Eagle shirt to tell people here who the champs are. Nobody watches football, so I got a bunch of questions about which team I'm representing. But um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Just got some breakfast, about to head out. We just went to the River of Jordan. Now we drove to the Dead Sea area. But before going to the Dead Sea, we're doing this two hour hike. That's supposed to lead us to see some awesome wildlife and such. This hike we wasn't prepared for, or at least I wasn't. But it's a good thing I had that holy Red Bull. So I should be fine.
So we made it to the waterfall, but to go down now. But uh, once again, I see no wildlife. People say they usually see goats here and stuff, but I haven't seen any. No one from my group saw any. That's unfortunate. Would have been cool to catch one. Saw a camel driving here and saw some sheep. But apparently like up there, it's usually goats. I guess they're just tired today, taking a nap. But uh, yeah, going back down, it's a dope looking cave, I'm not gonna lie. It's a cool looking cave, uh, nice waterfall. A lot of biblical history that is associated with that place. So it's like really cool like if you're reading the Bible to see that stuff in real life. Yeah? Like the Bible comes to life in front of it. So that's like one of the biggest highlights. And the hike wasn't that bad. <laughs> Look how pretty it is down there. So we pulled over to this ridge by Dead Sea and the guy told us to go look for sulfur. But I decided to go to the top and see the gorgeousness from up here. They're all down there looking for sulfur. <laughs> it's awesome up here. Got like it's like 85 degrees, nice breeze, and there's nothing. I really like its emptiness. It's pretty insane. So after a whole day, finally reached the black, uh, the black sea, the Dead Sea. Keep calling it Black Sea for some reason. Check it out. So the rules are, you can't dive because the water's gonna get in your eyes, and you don't want to have that much salt in your eyes. You can't obviously you can't swallow it, and you have to wear flip flops because it's the bottom 
of the seat can scrape your feet and then you're gonna bleed and then you don't want bleed then you don't want to mix blood with salt obviously but here it is look how gorgeous it is oh man can't wait to see what this is what it's all about so I'm back after my first soaking and holy moly is this thing salty like I wasn't ready for how salty this was I got a little splash in my nose and it's still there you can only go in 30 minutes at a time so I've done my 30 minutes now I'm gonna to rest for like 30 minutes and then go back in it's crawl but it's awesome good morning and happy sunday so interesting story to tell you guys before we head out today last night after the dead sea we traveled about two hours to get to bethlehem because that's where our hotel is and we're in this awesome like four-star hotel in bethlehem it's called diamond hotel or something but there's like just marble floors everywhere. Like I'm in a I'm in a conference room right now. You see? And the floors are like pure marble and they're clean. <laughs> and this is like everywhere. Uh, so it's a gorgeous, gorgeous hotel. Awesome food last night. I had awesome food this morning. Um, the best hotel we stayed at so far. And we're staying here for three days. So I'm pretty excited about that. But on the way here yesterday there is a main entrance that usually everybody uses to get into bethlehem but it was closed yesterday because there's some kind of jewish holiday or something like that i don't know but a lot of jewish people were just walking on that street they blocked the whole street off so we had to find a different way in and the other way in isn't known for tourists to go through and the reason why that is important is because bethlehem is in the west bank it's part of Palestine and they're not, and it's like a hit or miss. If you come on a tourist car, if they will actually let you in or not. So, <laughs> so that was quite interesting. And then the third problem is, is that none of us had service and our driver never used that entrance before. So he had no idea where to go. So we had to uh, like pull over somewhere, find service. One of the girls that was with our tour gave me a hotspot. I went to Google, found the other way, which best I could, because <laughs> everything's written in like Hebrew or, or Arabic. But I was like, I'm pretty sure this is it. And we somehow, thankfully, made it here. But that was quite an adventure. I can now say it. we were lost with no service in the middle of the West Bank. And we survived. <laughs> That's a story I tell my kids a lot of these days. But um, yeah, we're here and it's awesome. The hotel, like I said, is incredible. The plan for today, I know we have to, we're gonna go see Jericho and like two or three other places. And again, Jericho and all the places are all still in the West Bank. So it's still pretty, pretty dangerous to go in. But he said that he's been there before and it should be fine. So wish us luck.
So we're in Shiloh right now. Super windy, we're pretty high up again. Again, it was absolute gorgeousness when it comes to views here. You just can't have a bad view anywhere we go, apparently. Um, so the plan was to go to Jericho. Again, we got lost. <laughs> so Jericho is gonna happen at the end of the day now. So we're here now, we just got the tour. Saw all the, like all these awesome like ancient ruins they found from hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So we're finally in Jericho. A camel just made out with my cheek. That was interesting. Did not expect that to happen today. Uh, we're on the ruins of the ancient city. The sign on the old the city is claiming that Jericho is the oldest city in the world. There's stuff here that dates back to 8,500 BC, which is 10,000 years ago. And it just, it's insane to be able to walk around, see it, pick it up, feel that kind of history. So this is pretty incredible.